Hey guys, welcome to the 100th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to remove nodes from your tree view. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a tree view and uh, two buttons. You're also going to need to have the code that we created in the previous tutorial. And this just created all the nodes for our tree view. So, when we, when, so when we debug here, we should just have all of the nodes that we created in the previous tutorial when we click on this button. Yep, we have this people, animals, and we have our spot right under there under dog. Alright, so now to get to removing nodes. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is removing the node that you have selected. So we're just going to double click on button 2 right here because we're going to have it uh, remove the selected node and we click that button. In order to get the node that you have selected, you're just going to type tree view one or whatever you named your tree view, and then you're going to want to use the selected node property to get the uh, node that you have selected. And then we're just going to use the remove method to remove that node. So now we should just remove the node that you have selected when you click button two. So now select dog, it should remove that. Yep, select something inside of people, it should remove that as well. You can remove this whole people if you wanted to. Alright, so say you want to just clear your list view out completely, just delete every single node in, inside of it. So to do that, you would just do um, whatever you named your tree view, uh, use the nodes property, and then just remove all of those nodes. So you use the clear property or clear method to clear all of those nodes from your tree view. So when we debug here, it should just remove every single node inside of the tree view. All these, it should just remove them all at once. Yep, just clear them all out. All right, so you can. I'm also going to show you how to remove uh, nodes you have checked off. In order to have checkboxes appear in front of each node, just select your tree view and go over to the properties panel and change the checkbox property to true. And now when you debug and add our nodes, you should see that yeah, there are checkboxes in front of each one of our nodes. So in order to remove all the nodes we have selected, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new method to remove all of those nodes. I'm just going to call it remove selected nodes. Or no, remove checked nodes. Remove, now let's call it remove check. Alright, and we're going to have it pass through um, a tree view or a tree node collection parameter. So uh, and a tree node collection would be like tree view one dot nodes. So let's call it TNC. And then we're gonna loop through each one of the nodes in the collection and see if it's checked. So we're gonna say for each tree node inside of this collection, I'll just call it TN, then we want to remove it. But what we're gonna do is have it add it to or add the node that we want to remove to a list of nodes, and then it's gonna remove all of those nodes at once. So I'll we'll just have to create a list of uh, tree nodes right here. Let's call it TN list, set it equal to a new tree node list. So we're just gonna use this list to store all of the nodes that we want to remove. So we'll just do TN list dot add that tree node. So if the tree node is checked, then we're going to have it add it to this list right here. So we're going to say if tn.check, then we'll just add it to that list of tree nodes right here. Now, this will only work for ones that are in the root of our tree node. If you want to have it to work for every single node inside of our um, tree view, we're going to have to use something called recursion. So basically, we're just going to recall this method from inside of here. But we're only going to have it to do that if the tree node has children. So if there's child nodes inside of it, then we're going to have it check those as well. So we're going to say if this has nodes, so if there's nodes inside of this node, then we're going to have it recall this method and pass those nodes through again. So right here we're just checking to see if there's any nodes. So if there aren't any nodes, then the count of nodes inside of it will be zero. But if there are nodes, or if this node does have child nodes, then it will um, prove to be true. 
So we're going to say if it has child nodes, then we want it to recall this method and check those nodes as well. So we're just going to say remove checked. And then we're just going to pass through those nodes. So now that we have it do this, we can now remove all of the nodes from the tree view or from this list right here that we want to delete. So we're just going to do for each tree node, let's call it en, inside of that list. And we just want to remove it from the tree view. So let's do tree view one dot nodes dot remove and then uh, that node, so it's tn. So now when we debug here, it should remove all of the nodes that we have checked, no matter if they're inside of another node or not. Oh, we never called, we called the wrong method. We gotta call, remove, check, and then we'll pass through the nodes inside of the tree view. All right. Now, now that we have this dog checked off, it should remove that. Yep, if we select something inside of people, it should remove that as well. And if we wanted to select uh, even three at a time, it should remove all of them. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.